All right, new at six, you've probably complained to yourself a time or two when you see headlights glaring at you in oncoming traffic. We're seeing more LED and high intensity discharge or hid lamps, headlights on those roads. Yeah, WSBT 22's fact finder Molly Jurisek is live in Mishawakan. You've been looking into whether those headlights pose a danger, Molly. Rick, studies show about 80% of vehicles on the road still have halogen headlights like this right here, but many predict that number will go down as more vehicle manufacturers move to using more advanced lighting, and many say that could be a good and a bad thing. It's night. You're driving down the road, but all you see is this. Dr. Megan Heil at Bowling Vision Center says you're not alone that have come in and complaining that they literally don't drive at night anymore because they are too afraid to. And that is becoming even more so with uh, these newer, brighter lights. Dr. Heil says they even affect her. Yeah, they bother me a lot. She says if any headlights have this starburst look, you could have some eye problems. So we have a lot of patients who um, are ready for cataract surgery, and one of the things that they notice is glare with headlights, um, even more pronounced with the LED lights. Healthy eyes take a couple seconds to recover from headlight glare, you know, the spots you see after flash photos. But for someone with cataracts or macular degeneration, I mean, it could take 10, 20 seconds. I mean, that's a long time when you're driving. She says there's not a lot of research into whether LED headlamps have long-term effects on vision. I did find research that showed that um, longer prolonged exposure to LED lights in general, whether it be from tablets or phones or TVs or even lighting in your home or office can have effect on retinal cell health. The reason? The wavelengths that give LED lights a bluish tint. And some agencies seem to be aware of the problem. A 2008 strategic plan by the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials calls for wider road medians. Part of the reason, reducing headlight glare. A local INDOT spokesman said that this stretch of Capitol Avenue stretching from Lincoln Way East to the bypass went from having absolutely no median to becoming a four lane road with a median that stretches over 50 feet wide in some parts. While he says reducing headlight glare is a good thing, it wasn't exactly the main factor in these road improvements. INDOT says it drastically modified the median on the new section of US 31 from Lakeville to South Bend, increasing it from just four feet to more than 80 feet in places. With growing concern about headlight glare, researchers like Matt Brumbelow with the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety are trying to hold car manufacturers accountable. So we decided it made sense for us to start doing a, an actual rating program. So consumers who are looking for a vehicle would really have no way previously to compare you know, how headlights um, front on different vehicles would perform. That program started last year. He says when used correctly, LED and HID lamps were the best performing, but a third of vehicles had too much glare. When you combine an, a bright headlight and poor aim, you can end up with more glare. Brumbelow says even badly aimed halogen lights are going to make you feel blinded, something the manufacturer needs to control. And until our test, there really was no incentive for them to control it. So. The, the regulation, the federal law that governs how much light a headlamp needs to produce says nothing about how it's aimed on a vehicle. Overall, a study from AAA says the LED and HID lights are beneficial. The HID lights and the LED lights um, illuminated roadways 25% more than, their, uh, than the halogen lights. Beth Mosher says the research shows cars with halogen lights likely can't stop safely for obstacles in the road if they're driving more than 50 miles per hour. Mosher says there's not a lot of proof that the extra glare from LEDs leads to accidents. What we found is that they rarely contribute to kind of uh, what we call a disability glare um, because the technology used is used to aim the light effectively at the roadway. Now, one thing to keep in mind about all this research is it only applies to manufacturers using LED or HID lights in the vehicle installation, not older cars that have been upgraded with aftermarket lights. Now, something to keep in mind about these aftermarket headlights as well is researchers did not recommend them to me. They said they actually can increase glare as well. Another thing from that study with AAA said, make sure you keep your headlights clean. Dirty headlights like this on my car actually can increase glare and reduce driver visibility. So make sure you keep them nice and squeaky clean, like this right here, as well as keeping that windshield clean as well. Live in Mishawaka, I'm Molly Jurisak, WSBT 22 News.